you for strengthening me on this day, that you have given me strength to get up and go to work, Lord God. Thank you for a job, Lord God. Thank you for life. Keep my family safe while I'm gone. And I take you on my day so that I know I'll be safe. Bless those around me as I go out into my day, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, beautiful people. So, I know that, well, y'all know I've been sick, but I feel so, so much better now. I'm all better now. But I have started this new lift job. So, I know that um, it's foggy out here, guys. I'm going to get some fresh air. Let's get some fresh air this morning. So, and I know that um, I haven't been posted, but I told myself I have to start a pattern where I work, vlog, work, vlog, work, vlog. So, I'm going to be making you guys are always a priority. So, don't worry. You girl will get it together. So, this morning, as you see, I was just praying because I have to start my day off with a prayer and talking to God and getting right with him. And I'm going to tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. And, um, oh, these windows, it's just, like, not good. And, um, I got so much to tell y'all. But I just leave in my house. It's 6.40. Well, 6.30. So, today I'm leaving at 6.30. I'll probably stay out to 6 o'clock. Yesterday I stayed out until, what, 3? But, okay, yesterday. So, so, yesterday was such a good day. I made really, 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 really good money. And it was a good day. Turk, Asia had her first open house. Because, you know, they, they going back to school. She started sixth grade. So, she had her open house yesterday. I left, I got, I left at four. I left my house at four and, and I left work at three so I can be back because her open house was at six. All right, rewind. Rewind before this incident happened. You guys literally, a, yeah, y'all. So, literally, I'm not lying. I had a roll of, French, some bush shoot butter cookies, whatever. They was like them French cookies. They were so good. And um, I had a roll of those. You know, they come, they don't come in a bar where they come in a nice little cute roll. I had one large um, cucumber, one large carrot, and I had a sausage biscuits and a um hash brown, little hash brown bites from Burger King for breakfast. But that was early in the morning when I was like heading out. Mind you, I told you I left at four. So, I need one of those things that I mount so bad, y'all. I'm gonna get me one today. So, um, a cucumber and a curry, that, that little sausage biscuit and that stuff early in the morning. But all day, that cucumber and that curry and them cookies, I mean, I could not believe how full they kept me. And I'm going to get it again today. It was just so unbelievable. But I said, not only is vegetables good for you, and because I think they consist of a lot of fiber, they keep you really um, full. And plus, you know, cucumber is, I think, 90% water or something like that. They're good for you, so I'm going to get that for my lunch again today. Of course, I'll grab some breakfast because I got to have something. But, okay, that's that. So, let's fast forward to 3 o'clock when I'm heading home. So, it was a good day. I made, lot, I, like, I made a lot of money. I get off, trying to head home to my baby, go to her open house. Y'all, I get... Mind you, I work, I work in D.C., so I get to Brandywine back in back in Maryland. It was in Brandywine, a little way from Waldorf. I stop at the YY because literally I have not got out my car or stopped to pee. Nothing all day. I haven't even got out my car to walk around because that's how quick 
you know the the money becoming the, the rides becoming so first of all i get out of my car i can't even walk i can't even feel my legs then not nothing bad but you know you know when you're sitting down all day you get up your legs feel a little weird so i get up i go to the bathroom in the wawa i come back my car do not start y'all it do not start I try and try and try and try and try and try and try. Today it's not gonna give me that problem though. We had a talk, I mean, God, we had a talk. My car had a talk. We're not gonna have that problem today. But even if we did, God got it because I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. So, my car don't start. I caused the tow truck. I'm upset because now I know that I'm going to miss my baby's open house that she was so excited about. I don't even care that the car don't start because I can get it fixed. I'm just so upset that I missed her open house and we still missed it. But let me tell y'all this, how good God is. That man, the tow truck man who came to pick me up tried to start my car, tried to start my car. I tried to start it. He told it on the back of his car. Him and his supervisor, y'all, hold on, let me roll these windows out. Him and his supervisor is arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can tell they being petty with each other. The supervisor don't want to bring him the jump start box so he can try to jump my car. But mind you, in the, in this time, we still trying to start it, still trying to start it. It's not starting, you guys. God is so good. So they going back and forth, going back and forth. Finally, I have to call the supervisor and, you know, talk nice to him like, man, sir, can you please? I don't know what y'all two got going on, but could you please bring the box or meet us so we could I could try to get my car started? I'm staying calm. I'm praying inside. At first, I was like, you know, a little upset. But then I'm like, I know that God works in the craziest ways. And I know that he does things for the craziest but sensible, goodest reasons. They're not crazy at all. It just seems crazy to us. But it's it's in the mysterious ways. So I'm praying the whole time. I'm, I'm calm. I'm staying calm. The tow truck truck driver is so upset. He is so upset and unprofessional that it don't make no sense. But he was a cool person. I'm not saying anything about him. He just had an anger problem. So, they fussing back and forth, fussing back and forth, fussing back and forth. I get to the phone with the supervisor. I talk calmly to him like, sir, can you please, you know, bring the box because I'm waiting I'm like, I gotta get I'm trying to get home to my door I'm trying to see if my car can start if you could just please 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 let me know where to meet you we can meet you know that type of thing so finally he meets up with us get the jump box the car still don't start mind you the tow truck driver gotta bring me an hour and a half home drive me home he upset because he got something to do. He, I was getting home at six thirty. He lived all the way up, up that back that way in Brandywine. I lived all the way this way, a half an hour. I, I mean, an hour and a half away in Virginia. So he's so upset that he got to bring me all this way because he had something to do at six thirty. And he extra upset because the supervisor was laughing at him. You know, he could care less about what he got to do. So. The whole time in the car, in the tow truck drive home, I can see that this man is upset. I mean, he's so upset to the point where he was upset the whole time he was not letting it go. So I, I, I talked to him, I tried to talk to him, ask some questions. So I finally come out and be like, and I asked him, I said, why are you so angry? It seems like you, you have, you know, besides the situation with your supervisor you have a little bit of an anger problem so we was just talking we was just talking and we exchanged instagrams i wasn't interested in him like that but god always has a purpose that he lets people cross each other paths but far as being interested in him like 
you don't want to date him, no. I don't know what his preference is about me, but, you know, I wasn't even trying to go there. But, um, long story short, you never know. You never, never know why God has placed you in a situation. That's why it's so, so important that you trust him with everything in you. And you know that he has it under control no matter how it looks. Because, guys, let me tell you. As soon I had him take my car to the mechanic. And my cousin had to go to work. And it's like where he worked is right across the street from the mechanic. So I was going to drop the car off at the mechanic. Walk over to the job and get the truck and go home to the, and get the kids. Because he had stayed, my cousin stayed home with the kids. But he had to go to work, so he just left out. And I was on my way. So, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Right after. Mind you. Mind you. If I tell you the good part. The whole ride home that I'm trying to talk to him and calm him down. I'm thinking in my head. How much money I'm about to have to put out if something wrong with my car, the tow truck, all that. So, okay, fast forward. We get to the mechanic place. He's taking the tow truck off. I mean, my car off the tow truck. You guys, I lied to you not. As soon as my car hit the ground off the tow truck it starts <sighs> you guys when I tell you God is so good mm. I, I was praying the whole time when I tell you God works in those type of ways and I know it that's why I was praying and I wasn't even worried I said it's something that has that is that it is the reason for this something and you never that's why in situations you always have to stay true to yourself and to the word of God and to who you know he is raising you to be because the impact he needs you to have on another so that they can see the God in you is very important because that man was so angry and then when the call started, he was extra angry. When he realized that he drove all that way and that call started, he was extra angry. But I went up to him. I'm talking about he was extra angry. He pulled, I said, he, he was, he, he, I got in my car. I'm waiting for him to sign the paperwork, do all of that, tell me how much I got to pay him. He leaves. He stops for one second and say this to me. Are you okay? Are you good? I told him yes. I said thank you in the most passionate, kindest way. He left. He didn't even charge me. He his and he was so far up in his anger that he didn't even charge me. I didn't even sign no paperwork. He could care less. He didn't even pay the toll. And God uses people for everything. A situ he uses a situation for everything. But I know that maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not even next week. Maybe next week. He'll think about the way I handled things, the way I was trying to talk to him and calm him down he'll think about it and also we was talking about children I was telling him that he don't have no he's 35 he didn't have no children and I was telling him I was like I think that you should have some children children will change your life because you can tell that he wasn't a bad person he just had an anger issue because he was kind he offered me water you know he made sure I was good. He waited for the man to try to get my... He just... He just needed a little guidance. 
he just had an anger issue because like he said his daddy did it his daddy did it the daddy did it before that he told me that it, that I guess they're like a military family so and he's a coach so I know he got he can't he can't be no bad he can't be too much of a bad person coaching kids you know so that's my story guys that's my testimony and I could not wait to come on here and tell you guys that like that's just that's that's not a coincidence like Jane things just don't happen it's for a reason for a reason guys so I am headed to work and because I chased the bag I am staying until six I'm staying late night tonight, but not when it get dark because I'm not about that life. Mm -hmm. I love my safety, but I am going to chase it longer today because God gave me the ability to do it, strengthened me to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. He blessed me with this job to do it. And now, you know, it's a lot. It's a, and, and later on, or if I get to stop today, I'm going to do that video with y'all about how to make five six hundred dollars a week doing this job nice little extra job nice little extra job if you work hard nice little extra job mm -hmm. so say your prayers guys i love you guys i hope you have a blessed and safe day and for all you who have started school already i want you to stay focused eat your hearty breakfast say your prayers every morning stay focused don't get caught up in the foolishness don't bully do the right thing, guys. I love you so, 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 so much. Virginia. So the craziest thing is the traffic is <laughs> the traffic in DC moves so slow, but the people are so fast. If that kind of, if that make any sense. Like the traffic is slow, but in the people mind they're rushing. Y'all, they have no respect for the road. The people walk on green lights stop on red lights i'm talking about the pedestrians like they they walk across the street on a green light they stop when it's a red light i'm like what it is so 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 i from so from now on what i do is i go to maryland suitland maryland which is right next door to dc and i just stay there and if i get fans that go into D.C. fine, but y'all, I, I stay in Maryland because D.C. gives me the worst anxiety, and then I was in Southeast D.C. Okay. I went to Northwest. Yes, that was much, much better. Even though I understand because, you know, I come from a ghetto myself. I come from all that type of crap myself even though I'm up here and we're in these streets of Virginia now <laughs> it's like but y'all yeah DC is crazy to drive and I don't like it so I'll be in Suitland Maryland and um but not every day I switch it up but um I go where the money at 
but if I get fans that go into Maryland, I mean, D.C., fine. But, y'all, my butt hurt. And it was a hectic day. I, I love hectic days because it gets me money fast. So, I'm on my way home. And the only reason why it took me so long to get home, I actually stopped at 4. But it took me two hours to get home because I went out of my way and I didn't even realize it. I didn't even know. I went, like, so out of my way. When I hit the button to go home, it was, like, two hours, something minutes, two, whatever. So, I'm going to go home. I'm going to get the children. We're going to go get some dinner. I got to go to the dollar store. I need toothpaste. I need a broom. And I think... No. I need toothpaste and a broom. And... I got the kids. Say hi, kids. Hey. Oh, hey. Tell the family how much y'all miss me today. Very much. Very much. And I. Brandon don't miss him. He never give me hugs when he come I'm home. Out. And I cracked my phone, guys. See, I shook it the baby up. Crack her phone. She was calling me crying. Because I never did it before and it feels weird. So, right now, we're just going in here to get some chicken. I need them to come on. They fussing. Look at this. What are y'all doing? She wouldn't show my phone.